I really enjoy croissants and the secret is that lovely flaky buttery croissant perfect with jam to be honest with you but the secret is the really good croissants and simply better have recently launched this so the french made all butter croissants they're in the freezer department so just literally bring them home keep them in your freezer this is what i do uh, preheat your oven to 170 or 175 thereabouts and that's celsius and then i always bake them on parchment paper now these will take anything from 20 to 25 minutes to bake off so these are already baked off and they're still warm which is perfect so i'm just going to put them away over to the side but i'm going to show you savory croissants now normally when i have them at home i just have them with lots of butter and i use this lovely jam so this is um, made from wexford preserves using pat clark's raspberries so they're based down in wexford tom and laura they're wonderful producers and they do a process called open pot uh, boiling which they make small batches of fruit using irish fruit so that's a really really good i i love raspberry jam so i'm going to get cooking uh first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of different varieties we're going to do one with smoked bacon i'll talk to you about that in a moment uh with a fried egg like a full irish uh, we're going to put a little bit of oil just onto the griddle pan and then i'm going to use this streaky bacon so this is the first one i'll show you so we're using the whiskey smoked irish streaky rashers good irish uh, rashers and the borbia quality mark so i do love this uh, bacon because it's full of flavor now what i'm going to do is hot pan see the way it's smoking we're going to bring over our rashers and we're going to put what probably about maybe three three of these on here so we're going to grill them now i have to say i'm a big fan of bacon so we're going to um, let them cook away then I'm going to show you just how to cook some mushrooms. Really, really simple. We're going to use some rapeseed oil. Again, this is an Irish produced rapeseed oil from County Loud at Derry Karma. So you get a nice high smoke temperature, but I'm going to cook it with some oil and butter. You know me and the butter. I love the butter. But let's talk about the mushrooms while the oil is heating. You never wash mushrooms. You just literally wipe them with a J cloth, a clean J cloth, damp tea towel, or some kitchen paper. And all I've done, the Mella just literally sliced them like that. These are the chestnut mushrooms I'm using here. So they're lovely. You can use regular mushrooms, whatever you want to. It doesn't matter. Uh, I really like them cooked with some butter. So the oil in there, and then of course, some butter. So I'm just gonna put them in there, let them cook away. I am gonna put some salt. And there's one thing that mushrooms love or adore is um black pepper so lots of lovely black pepper here so i'm going to let that just cook away there just get a spoon give them a little stir let's have a little look at our bacon what do we want streaky bacon the lovely marble and the fat in it this is smoked whiskey smoked and it's dry cured so there's no white um coming out of it white protein anything like that it's uh, we want it really crispy well, I want to show you one other thing. So I let the mushrooms cook away. So this is some Parma ham. This took about 15 minutes on parchment paper. So that's it there. It's um, out of the oven. I just done it, literally took out the croissants, took this out here. So it's crispy. So I'll just show you here how you know it's crispy. So you can see through it. You can have this done ahead. You know, I don't want to confuse you with the bacon or the Parma ham, whatever. And this is the prosciutto of the Parma ham that I'm using. And they're very very protective this is what you're looking for here is the stamp the logo okay so that's that's one thing that they really are and it's a really lovely kind of like uh, cured for 24 uh, months so it is or matured okay let's turn our bacon give the mushrooms a little stir i'm going to turn them down gorgeous now just flip them over and I'll just turn that down there. Let them cook away nicely. There's our mushrooms there. You can see them, they're cooking up nicely. And I do like the chestnut mushrooms. There's a nice flavor there. So they won't take long, especially when they're sliced. Okay, meanwhile, while all that's going, we're gonna get on with a couple little bits and pieces. Tomatoes. We're gonna slice some tomatoes and we're gonna put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So we're gonna do that. A couple of slices of tomatoes there. So these are kind of savory croissants that you can have for your lunch, brunch, breakfast, whatever you want. And I'm going to show you three different kind of toppings or fillings rather. So there's our lovely vine tomatoes. You should have said vine tomatoes. Now I'll turn off the mushrooms. They're done. Just have a little look in there. I'm happy with them. They're good. Turn down the pan there and then I have my pan here. Just preheat it for a fried egg. Okay, so let's turn that off there. Okay, 
So a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over the tomatoes, some sea salt, and then a little bit of, guess what, lemon zest. Works really well. You see me using lemon and tomatoes, it really does, I just, it's what I really like at home. Now, always make sure you turn the, raw, the right gas off. I turned the raw one off. Okay, and we'll have a little look at our bacon there. We might need to flip it over. Yeah, it's getting nice and crispy. Sometimes I just love this bacon with some, um, with uh, even a poached egg. It's just delicious. A little bit more oil in there, just a wee drizzle. All right, pan is on. We'll fry an egg in a moment. The tomatoes can be done ahead, so I'll move that out of the way. So the first thing we'll do, very, very quickly, assemble. This is some creme fraiche. We're gonna mix it with a little bit of the pesto. So I'm just using some of the fresh pesto here. So I'm gonna put a spoonful of this. Now this is gonna be for our nice smoked salmon. And the smoked salmon I'm using, this is it here. It's from the Burren Smokehouse. I'll just show it to you here. So it's organic, organic Irish smoked salmon, oak smoked. This one here has a little bit of honey and dill. So if you like this, it's a really nice way of serving it, I think so. So you mix this all together, your pesto. So that's made, that's a fresh pesto, some creme fraiche, you can use some cream cheese, mascarpone, anything like that. Whatever you want to, you can use. Okay, let's have a look at our bacon. We'll put some oil in the pan and we'll get frying in our leg. Yeah, this is better now, Mella. Flip it over, great. You're looking for that crispness. For me, you want it lovely and crispy. I have the um, gas on the lid, it's nice and low, so it's not uh, cooking too fast. So a good drizzle of oil. And then some butter. And we're gonna melt the butter, it's gonna melt very quickly. We're gonna crack our egg, so we're using a nice quali quality assured Irish egg. And then just literally open it out onto the pan. So um, I'm just gonna literally put a lid on it because the lid actually helps the egg cook. I'm gonna give it, what about maybe 20, 30 seconds and then I'll switch it off. I'll switch off the bacon because that the heat is gonna stay in the pan and the mushrooms are warm. So now what we'll do, we'll slowly start to assemble all this. So just to recap, this creme fraiche can be made ahead, kept in your fridge. You can use some cream cheese. You can have your tomatoes done uh, ahead you know, for an hour or two. Bring your smoked salmon to room temperature. I think that's really important. Never take it straight from the fridge, even though you store it in the fridge. Your bacon, if you cook at a minute, I think it's nicer. And the same with the parma ham. But it's all about time. So it is. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's have a little look just at our egg. So that kind of creates a steam. So it does. So you want the most perfect, like, kind of cooked egg. Now, you can do this if you don't have a, excuse me, if you don't have a lid big enough. Just be careful, it skites a wee bit. You'd kind of just baste it like that. So what I'll do, I love eggs. If you were to ask me one ingredient I couldn't live without, it's eggs. I've switched off the pan now. Okay, let's grab a couple of the croissants. We'll grab three of them. So they're still warm. You can just literally serve them straight from the oven. What I like to do when I bake them off is I switch the oven off and I leave them in the oven switched off for about two or three minutes. So in that way, they kind of get really kind of crispy. So we'll do our smoked salmon one first. So I'm just going to open this here, just open it out, and then we're just going to get our cream cheese, just use this here, now, so that's it, so kind of just open it out a little bit, so just kind of with the spoon, smear the cream cheese, okay, just like that, you can put a couple of tomatoes if you want to, sure I have them done here, I may as well, a couple of little tomatoes there, they're beautiful and ripe. Now, we have a little bit of salad, so just some mixed salad leaves here, while rocket will work really well. And then our lovely smoked salmon. So that's our first lovely little croissant. So I'll just put that on a plate and I'll hold it up to you and I'll show it to you, Melna. So just give my hands a little wipe. So that's, we, that's our Simply Better the Croissants, which are baked off. If you're a creme fraiche, or you can use cream cheese. I use creme fraiche with some pesto, and also we have some tomatoes. How nice does that look? So that's one done. Okay, let's have a look at our egg. Egg is good. I like it soft. That's the key. Look at the little, the little wobble in the center. Perfect, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna keep that there. Everything is switched off. So the next one we'll go for, is the parma ham one. 
so again we'll just open this out you can just cut it completely open if you want to now for this one what we're going to do is we're going to put some tomatoes we're going to put a little bit um oh you could use some mayonnaise if you want to some mushrooms and then our crispy parma ham so these are the mushrooms we just cooked with a little bit of oil and a little touch of butter and then this is the crispy parma ham look at it's kind of transparent so you can just put that in there a little bit of salad if you want to it's not essential but again one of my favorites is kind of these kind of peppery ones this is a mustard salad like how nice is that look baked fresh you know good ingredients you know you can have a real kind of lovely brunch from this so i'll just move that there and then the last one is my take on the the full irish you could call it you're probably wondering where's the sausages <laughs> okay so we're going to get some tomato relish and i'm going to talk to you about this so we're just going to open this out a little bit so they're still soft in the middle but they're crispy in the outside and that's exactly what you want can you see that there so that's perfect there okay now Smella, what we'll do first is with our tomato relish this is a great little relish for wraps for chutneys you can mix it with um some you can mix it with a little bit of mayonnaise if you want to really good with wraps uh, lovely and a mary rose sauce we're going to spread this all over so this is made from wexford preserves so they're two of my food heroes tom and laura and they're wonderful producers okay so that's the first layer now we will get our nice rashers it's not hard to beat the streaky bacon so this is our whiskey cured the dry cured bacon again you're looking for nice two or three what do you think Camilla? she's saying three i agree so we're going to put three here now this needs to go on to the plate because I need to lift the leg, the egg, excuse me, onto this, lift me leg, could you imagine? <laughs> okay, I'm uh, gonna use this little fish slice. Be careful not to scrape the pan. Slide it over, arrange this like that. Okay, some mushrooms if you want to. We have a couple here, they're not essential for this. You could actually pan fry some sausages. Just put this in at the back here. But the mushrooms cooked with some um, with a little touch of oil and butter it works really well touch of black pepper and then the little chefy touch is just a little bit of flat leaf parsley but this isn't essential but doesn't that look nice so i'll just hold, hold them up here on the board if it wasn't being recorded i'd be eating away at all then don't waste that it's too good so the first one we've done is our lovely burn Simply better uh, burn smokehouse um, smoked salmon. So we have our creme fraiche, a little bit of pesto, little marinated tomatoes, a bit of salad. So that's lovely. If you can serve it kind of warm, it's much nicer, I think so. Then we have my take on the full Irish. So our whiskey cured streaky rashers, fried egg, some mushrooms, and then that lovely tomato relish there. That's a great little product there. So it is. And then the last one here, Mella, we have our crispy parma hams. You bake that off in the oven. Again, the oven is at 170, 175, and that took about 15 minutes on the actual sheet. Underneath like that, some nice mushrooms, sliced tomatoes, and then we have our lovely little salad. So enjoy these very, very quick, simple recipes. I think for me, the star of the show is the really good croissants, the really good bacon, nice fresh egg, good parma ham, it's all about good ingredients so you can use you don't have to do all of these by the way just take one and try it and enjoy it and have fun and happy cooking and thank you so much okay